Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do a full face on Belief Beauty. This is a brand that you can get at the Dollar General and it's really inexpensive. So I wanted to show you how some of their products work. I have a foundation from them, I have some concealer, I have setting powder, I have some blushes, some eye correctors, some moisturizers, and then I also have some little palettes that are face palettes and some eyeshadow palettes. So I want to show you guys this brand because it's really affordable and it's a really good brand. So first we're going to start off with the primer. But I wanted to show you guys that they also have a skincare line and it's really affordable. I think everything's like $5 and under. And they have a moisture cream and a hydrating gel cream. I really like these. They're really nice and hydrating. So they also have some skincare. But we're going to start with the primer. And this, they have different primers, but this is a hydrating primer. So I'm going to apply this all over my skin. And I think it comes out, yeah, it comes out blue. Like So that's really cool. But yeah, I'm going to apply this all over my skin. So let me blend this out. So here's the primer on. It's really nice and hydrating. And it left my skin really nice and dewy. So we're going to go ahead and try the foundation out. I have this in the shade porcelain so let's use this foundation I'm gonna shake it a little bit and then let's see how big one pump is that's about how big one pump is so I'm gonna do about five pumps and then apply it all over my skin so let me apply this all over my skin actually before I apply the foundation I'm going to apply this brightening up color correcting concealer i have this in light medium and i do have this in a darker shade so this is what it looks like it's a color corrector it's kind of like the becca one or the charlotte tilbury one so let's try this out let me get a brush so i'm gonna apply this under my eyes and then i'm gonna blend it out there's the difference with one eye with the color corrector and one eye without you can see it did do a good job at brightening and covering up my dark circles. As you can see right here are my dark circles. And here is the one with the color corrector. As you can see, it did do a good job. So now let me apply it on the other eye. So here's both the color correctors on my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and dot my foundation and go ahead and blend this out. So this is my foundation dotted. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out so here's the blended out on my cheek it does look really nice so far it looks like it has a radiant finish so i really like that so let me blend it out on the rest of my face so here's what it looks like on my skin it does look really nice i still have more foundation because i did apply a lot of foundation on my palette so i think i'm just gonna build it up a little bit more so i don't waste this foundation but so far it does look really nice and smooth and it does look pretty radiant so I feel like it has a natural radiant finish because that found, that primer that I used was hydrating so I feel like that's what's making it more radiant. So here's the foundation all blended out. Let me zoom in so you guys could see. It does look really nice and hydrating. I really do like it. So now we're going to go ahead and use the concealer. This is their concealer and I have this in the shade Biscuit. So let me go ahead and apply this. This is what the wand looks like. Let me go ahead and apply this under my eyes and then I'll blend it out and I'll be right back. So I can't use these because the wands just came off both concealers that I have from this brand. Um, I don't think it's the brand's problem. I think this has happened to me with multiple different concealers. I don't know why. So that happened. So I'm going to have to use a different concealer. So I did apply it on this side but i didn't have enough for the next side because the wands came off so let me apply a different concealer and i'll be right back to use the rest of the products so i ended up using my closest concealer because this is my favorite concealer ever so this is what the face looks like let me go ahead and now apply my cream blush by them they have i have two shades right here i have this shade um tropical sunset and doll face i'm gonna go ahead and use doll face I really like this shade. I, as you can see, I do use this a lot. It's one of my favorite formulas for blush. So let me go ahead and apply this. Here's the blush blended out. It's a really pretty shade of pink. I really do like this a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Belief Beauty Translucent Powder. 
So let's go ahead and set my face. This is what it looks like. So this is what the powder looks like. It's a really nice smoothing powder. I really like it. It's like really finely milled. So I really recommend this powder. Now I'm going to use this face palette. It has a bronzer, it has a blush, and it has a highlight. So let me go ahead and contour my face and then put the blush on too. Okay, here's the bronzer and the blush on my skin. I really like them too. So next, I'm going to go ahead and use this eyeshadow palette that I have. This eyeshadow palette is in Sultry Sunset. And it has these really nice shades. So let's go ahead and take... Let's just see what I'm going to come up with. So let me use this and put this all over my eyes. I just went ahead and did whatever on my eyes just to do something. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my mascara, my lips, and clean up my tattoos. And I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. So here's the final look. This is what everything looks like. Let me zoom you in so you guys can see. So it does look really nice and smooth. I really do like it. I think my favorite products for sure are... I do love the moisturizer, so the skincare is really nice. I love the powder. I love the primer. I love the blushes so much. Um, pretty much everything. I just couldn't get um, a good first impression or review on these concealers because the wands did break. And both the wands broke, so that sucks. But other than that, it does look nice. So, I would say go try it out. It's really inexpensive brand at Dollar General. And it's really beautiful. It looks really good. It looks like it's high-end makeup. So, go try it and let me know how you guys like it. I hope you guys like this video. Bye!